By the way, Magnus is making a herring cake. Yeah, that sounds disgusting to me, who's a vegan. And even when I was sort of non-vegan, I thought herring would be disgusting, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Today's episode. How do you do it? Welcome to Stories of My Life. So today is a day filled with pie making and smurgles torta assembling, I guess you would call that. We wouldn't call that baking or making. Well, smurgles torta making. But first, I need to buy some ingredients. Uh, so. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Join me as I celebrate the newness of life and the freshness of the spring, summer, the summer, the freshness of the summer, the hotness of this, the warmth. Well, the sun is out. It's not very hot. Join me, please. I beg of you. So I got some rhubarbs because I am planning to make a rhubarb trifle. The song playing in my head right now is my heart belongs to daddy. I do not know why. So here's an update on me making a pie or baking a pie. I had nightmares about me sort of like me trying to make a pie so I guess I just have to make it now because the, otherwise this will haunt me forever and ever and ever and a day so right now I'm making a sort of rhubarb, rhubarb jam or rhubarb sauce I don't know jelly I don't know what it's going to turn out I'm following the recipe so 500 grams of rhubarb you chop them up and you toss them with 150 grams of sugar and then into the oven they go for 150 degrees Celsius and for 25 minutes and then it's supposed to be done. You're also supposed to add, I don't know, lemon and vanilla. I'm not going to do that. I mean, these are tartar, so it is, right? I will also add a pinch of salt because it's when you do something really sweet, it's good to add some salt. It makes it, I don't know, a rounder taste. There you go. I am tempted to add some cayenne pepper, something spicy. Hmm, maybe just a little pepper. Yeah, I added some sort of three sort of whap, 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 whatever, use three turns of the pepper. Pepper mill? Yeah, pepper mill. So, just waiting for the oven. Turns out the oven was waiting for me. It, it is only at 150 degrees, so that goes qu pretty quickly. So in it goes. So. <laughs> Into the oven. See you on the other side. Well, 25 minutes. Now I will start making the smorgos torta, but I won't be showing you that because it's sort of a trial and error thing. And if it doesn't, I mean, it's no use if it turns out tomorrow that it's like disgusting or soggy or dry so I'm just going to show you the gist of it. I will be using one of these takeaway containers and I'm going to sort of create the smorgos torta, the sandwich cake upside down so I start with a layer that's going to go on top because in the end it'll be turned upside down like that and then I take that away. So I'll be putting some so cherry tomatoes and grapes here and then dill because I don't want the first layer to stick because that would be just bread with uh, mayo on it, I think. I don't know how to, how would, I will, yeah, I need to do something in the, sort of, in the, the walls of the cake. Let me say that. By the way, Magnus is making a herring cake. Yeah, that sounds disgusting to me, who's a vegan. And even when I was sort of non-vegan, I thought herring would be disgusting, but uh, yeah. I don't know if he's showing it on Instagram, but tomorrow I'll definitely be showing him eating his herring cake. So don't miss that. 
No, so this is actually quite fun. I added the first layer of bread. I got mayonnaise on one side and I got, let's see, sun-dried tomato, Hellman's vegan sun-dried tomatoes. I think this is gonna be a revelation. Although I just realized I need to do something because when I turn this upside down, it will sort of look like maybe it would be nicer to have something on the edges. Yeah. No, I said fork that. I want it to look like a lasagna. People, suddenly the timer goes off. Is it done? Well, let's just leave it in for to cool. Okay, people, here we go. Last layer. <laughs> you know what I should have done? I should have created one smaller one just as a reference and tasted that because now I won't know until tomorrow if it's too much or not enough. I, if I could, well, I would bet it's too much, not, not enough. So here we go, people, my very first, whatever you call that. So here's the rhubarb out of the oven. It doesn't look that appetizing or re really successful until you realize that you can sort of squish it. And then it's sort of, yeah, it'll work much better in a trifle. By the way, people, I totally forgot to show you what I got at the Rusta. First, I've got this really great masculine fan. Isn't that it? It's a masculine fan because it's, no, wait, this is leopard. I thought it would be camouflage. No, sorry, damn it. <laughs> this as well. Damn it, I thought this was camouflage, but it's leopard. Oh, I don't care. This is just so funny because I thought it was camouflage. And then I got this. What is it you say? Well, it's <laughs> Mirror Mobile. But I will hang on my balcony. To sort of, I don't know, enchant. Oh, it's really long. Look at that. So it's a good thing I bought two, right? So I'm happy to say that I started making the pie. I haven't actually started making the pie, but that pledged to start making the pie and that I use those two words synonymously. So right now I'm gathering uh, ingredients. So this is flour. Now I need to take a break. There you go. And there I go. So now I filled the pie shell with minced meat with sort of spices and stuff and tomato puree and this is sort of then you dot olives and cherry tomatoes into it and now frying some more vegetables and this is going to be cheese sauce on top here we go people not so much a sauce as a sort of a well maybe a sauce it's expected to be done in 30 minutes and then i had to sort of rest for 15 minutes so in 45 minutes oh god quarter to seven i can eat it's a good thing I got potato crisps for tomorrow. I'm not going to eat them today. I pledged not to eat them today. And if you're wondering what I did with all the cutoffs from the cake, from the bread, I am feeding the birds. Very shy birds here. Well, here we go. I think that looks quite nice. As a pie, it's easily deconstructed. All you have to do is just try to serve it. Hopefully, it'll taste divine. It smells lovely. Mm. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Okay, yeah. Mm. There's a smoky taste to it. What could that be? This thunderbolt. But I will continue, I promise you, with my Indian aubergine casserole with peanut butter. We will, of course, be needing... So here I am, people, drinking a gimlet on the rocks because it's so hot. 
that I wouldn't <laughs> exclude the eyes. And talking to Magnus, who's also making a gimlet on the rocks. That's the way it's supposed to look. This is the way it looks. So it's time to say goodbye to Magnus. We have plans to meet at 11.30 at the old town where we all always meet. The weather is supposed to be fantastical. So we are bringing lots and lots of water along with lots and lots of alcohol. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.